Hey everybody, Box and Bow here. Um, I want to do a Jag video. I have four Jaguar carpet pythons. Um, soon to be five, uh, as soon as the weather warms up. Um, first of all, Jaguar carpets are my favorite carpet. Um, this is heroin, as everybody knows. She's the one that started it all. Um, if you want to come in here, India, as you can see, guys, she is just now really starting to go in the shed. Um, her eyes haven't went blue yet, but um, any day now, I, I will suspect she will. Um, you can see here where she kind of rubbed into something, but you can see where she's really starting to go in the shed. So, that's exciting, but let's talk about the Jag Morph. There's so many combinations with the Jag. There's the Coastal Jag. There's the mixed Jags like her where she's got Erangia and stuff like that in her. Um, there's your Albino Jags. I mean, there's your Sunglow Jags. There's Jag upon Jag. There's your Caramel Jags. There's your Super Caramel Jags. There's your normal Jags. Um, she happens to be a Caramel Jag. Uh, excellent example of it. Um, but let's talk about their neurological issues. You don't hear too many people talk about that. You hear more... They, they show snakes like this, which is has a one. Um, this is a perfect example of a Jag that hardly has any neuro. Now, all Jags have neuro, or Jaguars have neuro. Um, there is there was some debate as well. It could have been inbreeding. Well, the jags have been crossed so many times with other species, other subspecies, and carpet pythons, and it's not. It's a neurological disorder. Um, I've heard discussion of it. it's an inner ear thing, um, stuff like that. Now she's got a grade one. I would consider this a grade one. Um, she's an excellent example of it. She has hardly any signs of neuro. Now, here's another thing. Here's a huge misconception. I hear some people say, well, I had a Jag and it never showed any signs of Nero, and then all of a sudden it did. No, the Jags all have Nero when they're born. Um, can they get worse at times? Yes. Some things can trigger it. Um, nervousness, um, excitement, things like that. But all Jags have it, so it just didn't magically appear in your Jag. It didn't have it before and it did. No. It was always there. You just didn't pay attention to it or notice it as much um but this is a level one all right now i'm gonna get another one out um and all my jags right now if you can hear me are in shed so we'll do an update video of them out of shed um that one was a caramel jag this one uh and if you want to get up close you can really start to see um you can see he's going in the shed. This is whiskey. Um, he's a, he's got an awesome stripe going down here, as you can see. Um, and you can clearly tell he's going in the shed. Um, I would grade him as he's also got this cool little heart thing on his head. Um, but uh, I, he is just a, a jag. Uh, he's not a caramel. He could be a caramel. He's got some things that make me think caramel but for the right for all intents and purposes i'd say he's just a, a jag a, a stellar example he's also a grade one jag um he's got what i mean by grade one as far as neuro he has hardly any signs of it as you can see he moves eats sheds does everything fine um so yeah this is another example of grade one now on um, the next thing i'm going to show you um is slinky uh, son. Now, Slinky is in shed as well. And if you want to come up here real quick, uh, you can tell she's really starting to go into shed big time. She's farther along than the other two. Um, now, Slinky is what I would consider a grade six neuro disorder. Um, she eats, poops, sheds, does everything fine except. For the neuro, she shows a little bit more here. I'll set her down right here, so you can see a little bit. And if you want to come in, come back. Um, as you can see here, everything's good except, as you notice, right there is a perfect example. As I bring her up, 
Sorry, she's starting to wake out. As you see, she turns kind of like she does that kind of thing. See how she kind of tosses her head around? Um, but that's okay for her to do that. It She eats, sheds, poops, does everything completely fine. Now, this is what I would consider a grade 6 neurological disorder. Um... Now, it doesn't matter if you breed a, a, a JAG to a non-JAG, you're still going to have these neurological disorders show up. Now, it happens when you breed a JAG to a JAG, okay? Um, you'll get Jaguars. Um, some of the babies will come out and they will show no sign, well, like a grade 1 Nero. Others will come out and show a grade 6 or more. Um, but the problem with when you breed to JAG, JAG, is you have the potential of making a leucistic carpet python. Unfortunately, like the motley bows, and you breed motley, motley, it's lethal. Well, it's the same thing with JAGs. It's, it's a lethal pairing as far as when you do get a, a white JAG, it'll live for maybe an hour a day. Uh, two weeks, I think, is a record, or maybe three, and then they'll die. So... Take that into consideration when you breed a Jag to a Jag. Um, you never know, you could be the lucky one and get one. Um, but as you can see here, she does everything normal. She moves, she flicks her tongue, but she does have neurological disorders. More That shows up more so than others. Now, I can breed her when she gets up to size and she will throw babies that will show a grade one and so on and so forth. Same thing with the other two I have. When I breed those, they will... Some of the babies will show a grade 1, and some of the babies will show more. Um, but this is a perfect example of grade 6. So, but it's just like the spider wobble and balls. It doesn't stop them from doing the things they do. So don't give up on them just because they might be a little special. They're still a great carpet python. I love this snake. She is, her name's Slinky for obvious reasons, and... You know, a lot of people don't like to show snakes that have that, and a lot of people don't like to talk about it. Um, so if you have any questions or comments that you would like to ask me about the neurological disorders um, in JAGS, or um, if you want to ask me about her and, like, why is it, you know, she does these things, maybe you don't understand, I can try and answer your questions a little bit better. Um, but, like I said, don't give up on them just because they have, some of them are a little special. Because Jags, to me, are the best. Um, so hopefully you guys learned a little something here. Um, I will be doing another video uh, probably within a week or so. So I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to everybody that watches the videos. And thank you to all the comments and likes. It means a lot to me. Um, so I really do want to say thank you and I appreciate it. Um, hopefully you guys are having a good day. I know I am with my family. Um, this is Boxing Boa. Peace.